Hello, welcome back to the VDC space. Today we're going to be modeling a pedestrian bridge deck. Now we're going to be using a BIM family template in Revit 2023 in order for us to construct a bridge uh, deck for pedestrians. Uh, before I get started, I would like to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel. Let's get to a thousand. I have a lot of content I want to uh, post. So if you subscribe and like my videos, it helps with the algorithm in terms of other people who are in the same industry as ours to find the videos which are very convenient in terms of learning Revit. So I have different topics. I cover buildings, roads and earthworks, wastewater, and so on. So please sub subscribe, uh, tell your colleagues, uh, tell your classmates in order to tune in into my channel as I upload tutorials three times a week. Now let's jump into Revit. So here we are in Revit 2023. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up a, a, a new project. You're gonna use a structural template, say okay. And then you're gonna go to file and then under new, you're gonna use a, you're gonna go to family and then drop down until you uh, meet metric structural framing, beams and braces, open. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove this extrusion. Just click on it and then delete. And then you're going to select this line and then remove it. And then these extra reference uh, planes, you're going to remove them. So you will be left with only left and right. Now, in order for us to model our profile, we're going to use the left elevation. So go to left and then we're going to use an extrusion. Go to create and then extrusion. And then under our reference, uh, under our work plane, we're going to go to pick a plane and then drop down and then go to reference plane left and say, OK. Now we're going to construct our geometry. So you're going to start on the this insertion point on the center and then take it 3000 millimeter to the left. And then you're going to take it upwards by 400 millimeter and then 500 to the left again. And then you're going to bring it at an uh, 45 degree angle or which in case this side is 135 degrees. And then you're going to press it like this and then escape. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select a straight line and then hover over this uh, center line, center reference plane and then uh, drop down by 2000 millimeters. And then to the left, you're going to draw a, uh, a straight horizontal line and make it 500 millimeters. And then after that, you're going to go with this option, start end radius arc. And then you're going to take it from this uh, insertion point to this point. And then you know how intuitive uh, the interface is. When you feel uh, it is at the right place, you're going to press it and then escape. So this is what you have. And then you're going to select all these lines and then go to mirror pick axis and then pick this middle middle reference line and then copy it to the other side. And then you're going to remove this line, delete it, and then drag this line to the other side like so. Same case this side, you're going to select this line, remove it, and then select this line and then take it to the other side like so. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to pick lines and then set the offset to 250 millimeters and then offset these lines like this. There you go. Then you're going to press escape and then press this straight line and then um, generate your lines like this. And then you're going to take it from this point until this point and also from this point and then this point. You're going to go to pick lines again and then uh, offset it by 100 millimeters and then you're going to offset these lines like so. Escape and then we have to separate these lines and then create openings, uh, three uh, openings on this bridge deck. So you're going to press SL for slice and then you're going to press where these lines intersect like so. And then you're going to select these lines and then remove them. And then these lines, you're going to drag it like so. And then go to trim and extend, and then trim and extend these lines. 
now we're gonna go with a straight line again and then from the middle of this diagonal line we're gonna uh, place our line there and then drag it down once at, until it meets this uh, curving line and then you're gonna go to trim and extend and then trim and extend like this same case uh, this side from the center of this diagonal line you're gonna take it downwards and then trim and extend trim and extend and this is what we have the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna poke holes on this bridge deck for our our what is it our uh, tendons pre-stressing pre tendons so you're gonna use a cycle option and then you're gonna just hover uh, assume you can assume uh, where you want to put it but make sure it's in line with uh, this uh, this uh, vertical line so you're gonna place it like this and then make sure the cycle is 40 millimeters and then you're gonna select the cycle and then you're gonna press copy and then you're gonna copy from the middle and then take it uh, 200 millimeter to the right and then while you're at it you're gonna select this move option and then select uh, in, in the middle of the on the center of the circle and then take it upwards by a hundred millimeter while you're at it and then you're gonna go with copy again and then from the center you're gonna copy it 200 millimeter to the right and then you're gonna place uh, three of them so in total they're gonna be four of them and then one of these and then you're gonna select these circles and then go to pick uh, mirror axis and then pick this uh, center reference plane and then it's copied to the other side so it's going to be the same case this side we're going to place uh, uh, three uh, six of them so three on the other side three on the other side so you're going to go with a cycle option make sure it's in line with this uh, vertical uh, line and then you're going to just place it uh, like this so you're going to make it uh, 40 millimeter and then select it and then copy and then from the center of the circle you're going to take it to the right by 200 millimeter offset And then you're going to select these three circles and then go to pick mirror axis again and then you're going to select this center reference plane and then it's copied to the other side now in order for us to make this family intelligent we have to add parameters to this uh, family in order for us to uh, control it so we're going to go with uh, the dimension uh, option and then we're going to place our dimensions like so make sure you hover over there until you see a blue dot and then select on it and then drag it upwards same case this side and then you're going to select this line and then this line and then you're going to take it uh, to the right drag it to the right and then you're going to select these two and then these two again perfect so we're going to assign parameters to these dimension lines in order for us to control this family so we're going to go you're going to select this uh, dimension line and then you're going to go to create parameter and then we're going to name this uh, top width okay and then we're going to lock it remember as soon as you create a parameter you have to lock it because that's the only efficient way to control your family without distorting the, the geometry. So you're gonna select this also and then create parameter and then you're gonna say barrier width and then okay and then you're gonna lock it and then this side you're gonna select this uh, uh, dimension and then you're gonna drop down under labels and then you're gonna assign it the barrier width because it's um, it's uh, symmetrical it's uh, it's the same so it automatically locks the parameter this side so we're gonna select uh, this and then we're gonna go to create parameter and then we're gonna name this one height and then okay and then we're gonna lock it and then this one we're gonna say create parameter again and then we're gonna name it h1 and then okay and then we're gonna lock it and then you're gonna go to this side and then select this and then drop down under label and then you're gonna assign it the h1 and then it's gonna lock itself and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bottom width uh, from these two points and then we're gonna drag it downwards 
and then you're gonna press escape and then press this dimension and then create parameter and then you're gonna name this one bottom bottom width and then okay and then you're gonna lock it now in order for us to efficiently control this uh, family without distorting the geometry we have to assign per, uh, other parameters that makes uh, the bridge deck equal and what do i mean by that we have to uh, place dimensions which uh, show uh, that the bridge deck is asymmetrical in order for us uh, when we when we create when we uh, control these parameters for instance uh, we have to make sure that uh, both sides are moving at the same time when we adjust the the width let me show you for instance if i punch in 8000 millimeters it's gonna move on the other side in order for us to avoid this mistake we have to assign we have to place other dimensions which shows that this thing is symmetrical let me show you how we do that so you're gonna go to dimension and then you're gonna select this part and then remember this uh, the center reference plane and then select this part and then you're going to drag it upwards and then you're going to select this uh, toggle dimension equality and then it's equal so you're going to do the same thing uh, this side select this dot and then center reference plane and then this dot you're going to drag it upwards and then make it equal okay it's over constrained and this one doesn't apply so you're going to delete it and we're gonna do the same thing for the other sections. So you're gonna select these two dots and then center reference plane and then this dot and then you're gonna drag it downwards and then you're gonna select this equal. And then you're gonna do the same thing, this one, this dot and then reference plane and then this dot and then take it downwards and then you're gonna make it equal. And then you're gonna select this line and then center reference plane and then this line and then you're gonna select the equal same thing this line center reference plane and then this line you're gonna drag it downwards and then you're gonna make it equal perfect now let's see if you change the width it's everything is gonna move at the same time on both sides let's go to properties and then the top width let's take it to 5000 millimeters and then apply you see everything is moving at the same time so let's take it to 8000 millimeters apply everything moves at the same time it is an intelligent family now it's ready to be loaded into our project so let's take it back to 6000 millimeters apply okay now you're gonna go to finish edit mode and then the last step remember is we have to set our we have to go to floor plans reference uh, level and then drag our our extrusion to the right reference plane and the left reference plane so you're gonna drag our extrusion like this in order for us to uh, control its length into our project we have to lock it on the left on the right hand side and then you're gonna drag it like this until it meets the left reference plane and then we're gonna lock it now we can control its length into our project so you're gonna go to the 3d view now and view your your family and the last step of course when it comes to uh, concrete families uh, you have to assign the material so you're gonna select it and then under materials and finishes you're gonna select these three dots and then make it a concrete precast concrete okay and then material for model behavior you're gonna take it from other and then assign it a precast concrete and then the last thing you're gonna do is gonna go under properties you're gonna go to family types and then under materials and finishes you're gonna assign it a precast concrete again okay and then apply and then okay and then you're gonna load it into your project i'm gonna save it as family five it's okay save and then you're gonna place it into your project like so and then go to your 3d view and this is what you have this is your pedestrian bridge deck it's very intelligent it has the holes for your tendons and it can be used in so many different ways 
uh, there's this thing I was trying um, yesterday whereby I was creating an overlapping uh, bridge deck for pedestrians so I was using model lines let's say I model a, a, a model line but let's make it 200 200,000 millimeters and then select uh, start end radius arc and then make it 100,000 millimeters and then select a straight line again and then take it to 120,000 and then select start end radius arc again and at 45 degree angle make it 60,000 and then place it like so and then the straight uh, line again and then drag it towards the top like this and then you can just adjust this line and then go to structure remember we use the beam family template so go to beam and then go to pick lines and then pick your lines like this and then go to your 3d view and then you're gonna select this uh, part and then adjust the end level offset to minus 10,000 millimeters and then press enter and then as you can see this is how it this is how it overlaps so this is your pedestrian bridge so obviously one lane is for people who are using bikes and the other lane is for people who are walking so it's uh, very uh, versatile to use uh, beam family template in order for you to construct uh, bridge components so thank you guys uh, that's the end of the tutorial i hope you learned something please tune in please like and subscribe comment if i did not do well criticize if i did well please comment let's have a conversation remember beam is collaboration policy and people so i will see you on the next tutorial and have a uh, lovely day Peace.